Okay. Good morning and welcome back to the old stream farm. So. Episode 5. We have our cows. We've had them since episode 3. We've got the, chick we've got the chickens. And... I had a bit of a... Uh, the, the last episode I had a bit of a... Problem with... Um, the sprayer that I picked. It was actually a bit too much... Um, a bit too heavy for the Zeta that we've, we've decided to get. So uh, now that our... Crops have germinated that we planted yesterday. It's time to get... We need to get them sprayed with herbicide and fertilizer. But first of all, we have some harvest to do. So we have a big field of sorghum up there. Well, we've got two field no, sorry, two fields of soya beans, not sorghum. We've got this field up here of um, sugar beet, which we need to get harvested. And we have the um, the corn to harvest over there. But for that, we'll need another header. So, first things first, though, we're going to harvest everything that we can with this header. Which is the soybeans, basically. Now, I've had a think, and what I would like to do is to get the field over there done as whole crop silage and this field done as soybeans. There we go, that's going well. Can't get straw out of soybeans. No, we can't get straw out of soybeans. So we're gonna keep going. Um it's going to turn the field a lovely golden colour, which is going to be super. So yes, lots to do this month. I'm very, very glad that we have two days per month set, because I wouldn't be able to get it all done in the first day, that is for sure. First of all, though, we should get this field done, and then we're going to have to go and get the corn header for the other field. So I'm going to put this on a worker. There's no rules against workers on this series. So this is going on a worker so that I can go and get the trailer and empty that first load of the first harvester load. And then when when the work is carried on. Uh, after we've emptied this first load, then we can uh, we can take the Zeta and go and get our new header, our corn header, which we will need. Oh, Betty, no! Right, we'll have to empty her at the other end if it gets that far.
Yes, Betty should get there. So, while Betty is getting there, let's take a quick look at headers, corn headers. So I think the one I'm going to need is this one. Definitely going to buy it, but what I also need is a trailer for it. So this trailer will do nicely. And it means we can finally, we can finally get the, um, that header trailer into the, into the shed properly. Oh, have I got, have I got the worker set up on buying everything? Yes, I have. I do not want that. That's not good. Right. Yep, she can use the fuel that's in it, she's not going to buy it. Right, let's go and get this emptied. Come on, IMT. Power! That's the trouble with that pipe, it only goes up a little bit far at the, uh, the end of its swing. Now, I don't remember how big the tank is on the harvest. Oh, there we go. 51% trailer full. So we can leave that here until the next time we need to empty it. So what I need now is the Zeta. I'm also going to take this sprayer back because I've decided to get a different sprayer. I don't want this one. But we're not going to be getting the sprayer just yet. We're going to be just picking up the um, corn header and bringing that back ready for ready for the corn harvest, which we'll be doing next. I've wasted a lot of money on uh, sprayers. Right, I've, the um, the guys here have helped out get the. Uh, get the the header onto the trailer there it's not on brilliantly because it was done with the, the uh, telehandler but it, it'll do it wasn't damaged Let's get it back to the farm And we can get the other head the trailer ready to um to take the other header off and put it away neatly. I'm just really hoping that this header fits onto the harvest that we've got. Right, we're gonna take it this way because this is the way to the cornfield. I do love this little tractor, it's quite nice. Nice little workhorse. Right, header trailer can stay down here now. There we go. Now let's go get the other header trailer. Out the way, chickens. Mighty Zeta coming through. Right, here we are. Ooh, 
didn't realise it had such a low hitch on here. Okay, I'm going to leave this connected to the the um, trailer so that when we've dropped the header off from the harvester, we can put it away. Good Zeta. See how we're getting on up here then. Right, looks like Betty's getting on all right. Yep, Betty's definitely doing all right. Let's go and empty her. And we'll go and put this lot in the silo. Well, a bit to the chickens. Uh, no. Yes, yes, sorry. A bit to the chickens. Because that will be their protein food. In fact, by the end of this month, we should have everything that we need for the chickens so they can start producing eggs. Be a bit more healthy. emptied and by that point by that point Betty should have finished off the harvest I hope oh, this is such a top heavy trailer right anyway uh, how much do we want to put in the chicken enclosure? What percentages make up that their feed is? So, protein food, 35%. Okay, so quite a lot in there then. So, I, re I reckon about... Probably had to put too much wheat in there, to be perfectly honest. But So, let's say we want about 3,000 just over in there. I'd say that was doable. Such a sensitive trigger point here. There we go. So if we get down to about maybe a little bit more there we go that'll do nicely so that should be yeah protein food up there then good good although we've nearly filled it to capacity so we're gonna have to wait for them to eat it a bit before we give them base food which would be the maize and the cut sugar beet which is a moisture food And if they're not healthy, do they progress towards puberty? Yes, they do. Good. So, at least they will reproduce fairly quickly. 
and then we'll be able to, they'll be able to eat the food a bit more quickly as well. Not that we really want that, but... Ah, Betty's completed her task. Excellent. Excellent. In that case, we shall bring this back. Just getting a nice layer of dirt on it now. Yielded quite well that field. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty pleased with that. And next up is the cornfield. Right, this is it. Moment of truth. Will this attach to this corn header? If it won't, I'm a little bit stuck. Hmm. Might be a little bit stuck anyway. Come on, push over. No. Oh, well, that's frustrating. Right, so after a little bit of trailer jiggery pokery, turns out it does fit. Well, that's great news, although it does rub on the floor. Poo. So maybe it attaches, but it just this certainly doesn't fit. Right, let's see what else I can get. Okay, so, after a bit of jiggery-pokery and work, I did find this header, this lizard header, header, that does fit on it. It also lowers down and does not contact the ground, which is fantastic. But I couldn't get it in green. It was 50 shades of red or blue, so I went for blue. Why not? So, at least we can get started with the corn harvest now. I've also emptied the rest of the harvester into the trailer. So I'm going to put that into the silo for now. I think I'm going to have to do all the corn harvesting myself, purely because of the shape of the field. I don't think that the, um, the workers are going to do too well on that. So. Oh need the engine on to be able to pump that through. Crazy. Right then, I'll leave this here for now. And let's go harvest. So I'm really hoping that this gives us maize. Because that's what we need for chickens, pigs, sheep. Oh, sheep need fresh, forested fresh maize. Foraged fresh maize, but... Um, Right, let's do this. There we go. Let's 
super. Great stuff. So at least we are getting corn out of this. I don't know how much we'll get. In fact, the, the field's yielding pretty badly according to the minimap, but we'll do all right. And we can harvest at five miles per hour, which is cool. That's all right. So after this harvest, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the whole crop silage and then we'll leave the sugar beet until another day, I think. So we'll crack on with this then. all harvested and I'm thinking while doing that in order to get the best yield out of the fields that we've got I'm gonna have to purchase the soil information and that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of money for the fields that we've got but I'm gonna have to do it because we need to make sure that there is enough for there are enough of everything for the animals and the only way I'm going to be able to do, make that work and be successful is to um, yeah, is to get the uh, to get the soil information First of all, let's unload the harvester. And we'll drop a bit of the maize off in the... Um, in, the ...in the chicken enclosure. And hope that that, uh, that is what it needs. Okay, there we go. Got the trailer sorted. Let's get the harvester all folded up. Get it topped up with. Oh, that wasn't that was a mistake. Oops. We're going to get it topped up with fuel, and then put away until next year. But this harvester is not going to get needed again this year. But we do need to fill it up with fuel. So I'll do that. Wow, this thing takes a long time to fill. It's got a 500 litre tank. Really does chew through the uh, chew through the fuel, you know. Because I've got realistic refueling switched on as well, so it, it's a lot it takes a lot longer to uh, to fuel up. But um, but especially with this, <sighs> 500 litre tank. Right, chickens first take this around to the chickens and see if they will take any of this.
if they do take it, they can have as much as they want of this. Ah, they do. Superb. And it's bringing in base food. Brilliant. Right, but that's all we can fit in for now. So, by the time that we do... By the time that we do the, um, the sugar beet harvest in the next episode, hopefully... Here we go, hoping again, but hopefully... then there'll be some room for the cut sugar beet in there as well, because we need to get their health up. Right. This can now empty into here. There we go. And the next job, I'll oh, put the headers away, that'll be the first job. And then the next job will be get the forage harvester onto the trailer. Leave that there for now. Because we want to make whole crop silage out of the field over there. Which shouldn't take too long. I can use the wider header that we used for the grass. That will. The only thing that that won't do is corn. So we can do whole crop silage with that. In the meantime, let's put these away because these won't be needed again until next year. I've decided I want to get corn into that field over there and the big field the other side because one field is going to become completely made maize silage and the other field will become uh, corn or harvest is corn I haven't decided which is which yet but that's what we're going to do I think we'll need to have a look by By March, we're going to have to have a look at what we still have a lot of and what we don't have any of. Now, will this fit in next to that one? I don't know. It's going to be a tight. Certainly not going to fit in when I drive like that. That will fit in nicely. There we go. Superb. Drop that off there. Now, we need to get the forage harvester sorted out. And by sorted out, I just mean back it up to the trailer. And then we're going to need to start thinking about where we can store it because it's it's not going back in there because that's where the sugar beet's going to go next month. We have to get those bales out of there as well. Right, let's unfold the pipe. There we go. What does beep beep mean? Oh, beep beep means fuel. Right. Let's go and get some fuel for it. At least we've got that fuel tank on site now anyway. Okay. Get her filled up. Okay, this one's got 185 litre tank, so nowhere near as big as the uh, as the harvester, the regular harvester. Probably explains why it ran out a bit. Oops. Probably explains why it ran out a bit quicker. But yeah, now we're full up 
I'm good to go. When I put that tank in, I did fill it up, so I'm hoping it's going to last quite a while. Right. Old crop silage. That seems to be working well. Amazing. I'm not sure if it uses the um, silage additive for this. It doesn't look like it's going down at all, no. So it's just grass it uses the silage additive for, but that's okay. It's filling up quite quickly. One pass is about 10% of a trailer, so perfect. Gonna get all this done and load it into the other pit. Because this will be the protein food for the sheep. field done. No, was near, nowhere near as much as I hoped. It did use the silage additive, but only minuscule amount. So I was, I was thinking again, while I was harvesting, because that's what I do. And I think this series needs to have a bit of a field plan. There is a mod that enables you to put a uh, field plan together in the menus so I'm going to download that and install it and we can put together a bit of a field plan and then we'll uh, yeah we'll see how it goes so it's it's obviously been a very busy episode um, we now need to get this put away and like I said not in there it would be good to get I think get the wheels put back onto there let me use the Zeta to put it away because then the other header can be stored on this. Now this trailer I think we will just put in here for now. Obviously it will be needed again next episode. There we go. Now pipe in. If we get this header attached And then that this header can live on the harvester as it doesn't have any sort of trailer or trailer option. 
So I think I'm going to put this harvester away in here, which is going to be ideal. We will need this again when we come to do some more. Just get the header lowered. There we go. So we will be using that again when it comes to doing the more grass and the grass field. But in the meantime, it could stay there. And I think if I can if I can manage to reverse it successfully, then we can get the um, this header in next to it. This is going to have to be a trial and error thing, I think. We can get it lined up okay to start with. We may stand a chance. As the front wheels are so close together, it's very difficult. Anyway, that's enough of me prattling on for an episode. So, we're going to leave this episode here. I am going to get this parked up, whether it takes me all afternoon or not. I'm going to get the cows fed. And we are going to get the hay moved and a few other bits first thing tomorrow morning so we can get the sugar beet harvested and get that all sorted. I think between now and next episode I'm also going to purchase all the field information. Well no actually no I'll, not. I'll do that at the start of the next episode so you can see it all and how much it actually costs us. We're getting there. We're slowly getting in with this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.